Samson didn't pull at her leash or try to run ahead or hide in the crowd, but kept herself between Tara and Chikurik. There was a mix of curiosity and fear in the reactions of those they passed, until one girlash stepped in front of them. You really shouldn't be bringing a wild animal into a crowded space like this. She may just be a pick, but she'll charge after anyone or anything that runs. It's their natural predatory instinct. She's too gentle, not to mention sterile, for the breeding program. Besides, she's on a leash and harness made of strapping strong enough to hold five of me, Tara said. Sorry, he said. Veterinary Dr. Kroon, Breaky G. Hive. I'm Tara, this is Chikorik, and the good girl here is Samson. Kroon knelt in front of Samson. You are a gentle lady, aren't you? Looking back up at Tara, he asked, Would you like a complimentary health check? I'll give you a muzzle you can use on the station to make people feel a little safer. I haven't had the chance to work with Samdrix in many long periods. Tara looked between Kroon, who seemed to already be making an initial assessment of Samson, and Chikurik, who was already rolling her eyes. Go, Tara. You can catch up to me at the freight office, or the eatery right across from it. Thanks, Chikurik. Tara rubbed Samson's head. You hear that, girl? Free checkup to make sure you're nice and healthy. Kroen's office looked more like a place to do paperwork than a vet's office, though he did have a small oar and medical tools. Seems like there wouldn't be much call for a vet on a station, Tara said. I'm usually inspecting cargo. Animals for relocation or rewilding domestic animals for labor or food, and animal feed and medicine to make sure it meets standards. He coaxed Samson onto the table in his OR and began doing an assessment. While I work, I can tell you more about Samdrix and when I used to work with them. I'd like that. Tara smoothed Samson's fur to let her know everything was all right with the girl ash and his tests. Tara left the vet's office with Samson's clean bill of health, a quick-release muzzle, detailed feeding and care instructions, and a newfound respect for the Imperial Gerlash Senate Wildlife Ministry. They made every effort to protect their native animals, and even those animals that were part of worlds they later settled. Samdrix were one of the rare animals from their own homeworld that had gone from being nearly extinct to being a common feature of any hot plains eco-forming. Come on, little desert floof, let's go find Cap. Chikurik was seated in the eatery across from the freight office and didn't look pleased. As soon as Tara sat, she said, The maintenance guild strike is finally over. Sort of. That should make you happy, right? Tara paused. Wait, what do you mean by sort of? Chikurik took a deep breath and rolled all four shoulders, a move Tara had seen when she was trying to keep annoyance under check. The maintenance guild has fractured. The Trade Alliance Maintenance Guild of Engineers is still on strike, but around 40% of the guild has left and formed the Trade Alliance Engineering Guild, with a deal slightly better than the old guild deal, but still not as much as the old guild is holding out for. Still, that should be good news, right? No, the old guild's loophole has been closed, and there are no engineering guild members on the station, except for the guild representative. Chikurik downed a syrupy drink that had a slight hint of alcohol in its scent. The only mechanics on the station are the dock slaves. Tara sat bolt upright, and her head snapped round to stare at Chikurik. Slaves? What the fuck? Samson mewled and curled in closer to Tara's feet. She reached down to pet the pick and said, Shh, sorry girl, didn't mean to upset you. Tara composed herself and leaned across the table where she could keep her voice down. I thought the Alliance doesn't allow slavery. This isn't Alliance space. Chikurik grasped Tara's hand with her smaller hands. I don't like the practice either, but there's nothing we can do. The slaves are non-alliance species and are traded and used in non-alliance space. My ancestors were slaves, Tara said, so I'm way past not liking it to actively fucking hating it. Samson climbed into Tara's lap and nuzzled under her chin, her large, soft ears flicking against Tara's cheeks. Maybe I should just round up all the slave owners and sellers and space them all. Prime cudgel missions, Tara, do not act rashly, I need to hire one of the slaves to do a check on the ship before we load up and move on. Tara took a deep breath and let it out slowly. I understand, ship speaker Chiloka Chikurik. I need to take a walk and clear my head. I hope that's okay. Take all the time you need, Tara. I'll be at the ship. Tara had questions, and she was determined to find the answers. She stopped by the info hub for the first of those. 
After that, she and Samson visited the Trade Alliance Engineering Guild representative. That was followed by a visit to the trading floor that was behind a set of locked doors. They weren't the first she'd kicked open. She documented everything she could on her comm, fighting back tears of rage. A girlash stopped her in the hallway as she was leaving. What are you doing here? Do you have any idea how dangerous it is? How did you even... Uh, get in? The panicked girlash asked, trying to shuffle her off to another hall. I... Uh, must have gotten turned around, Tara said. I was looking for the info hub, and the doors were open, so... Once they were in a slightly more populous area of the station, the girlash slowed down. At first I thought you'd escaped. I was going to hide you. Then I saw the Samdrick and the weapons. You look different enough to Alliance species to be included in the sick practices that go on here. If you need protection, I can whip up ownership papers for you. No, absolutely not. Tara took a moment to compose herself. I understand you want to help. Have you been able to get many of the slaves free? One or two at a time. Staged accident, declared dead and shipped off in stasis pods to Alliance space. I notice you seem to like this area. We've circled it twice. Surveillance is light here. This is where important people like me meet with shady people. Dr. Ackland, Breekiger Hive. You must be related to Kryun. We are clutch mates. He is the only male in our clutch and thus the favoured child. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ackland. I'm Tara Missions, also known as Prime Cudgel Missions Tara of the Full Pouch. Ackland stopped and turned to face her. You're the heavy welder that beat Grinthy of... Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Gree's kind of like family now, and we're cool, but I still feel bad about it. We won't discuss that then. Aklund began walking, to continue the short circles they'd been making. You said you were looking for the info hub. Now that I know I have an ally, I do need to look something else up. Aklund's head tilted to first one side, then the other, and she waited as though expecting a response. When it wasn't forthcoming, she asked, What is your inquiry? I need to check some prices, use the FTL comms to contact the nearest interdiction vessel, and find the boundaries of Alliance space. If what I'm thinking works, all the slave mechanics can be free, and Alliance citizens in a very short time, if not all of the slaves here. Let's go to the info hub, Ackland said, and you can tell me more about your plan. Ackland had been called back to the medical center. Tara and Samson left the info hub and walked towards the food carts. She called Chikurik on her comm. Hey, Cap, three things. First, I'm calm and I'm not doing anything rash and reckless. Second, I need 2,721 of those credit chits. Set 600 aside in the common room and send the rest to the slave rental office. Third and finally, the guild rep and all 17 of the maintenance slaves will be using the common room for a couple hours. Chikurik stammered for a moment. What are you... I trusted you when you threw me in the pit, right? It's your turn to trust me. The slaves from several different species piled onto the ship and the engineering guild representative, an Illyrian woman, followed them in, carrying an armload of tablets. She closed the doors to the common room and left a nervous Chikurik pacing outside. Tara walked to her and grabbed one of her large hands. Come on, Cap, let's go wait outside. Chikurik allowed Tara to lead her out of the ship into the now silent landing bay. Without the mechanics moving around, the only life was the overseer, a heavily armed Salomar, who spent her time twirling her stun baton. Will you tell me what's going on now? Chikurik asked. I wondered why I'm considered an Alliance citizen, but these people aren't. Turns out, the only thing required for citizenship of a non-recognized sapient species is the possession of a professional license or employment by an Alliance-based company. Tara pointed to the ship. When those mechanics finish in there, They'll all have a professional engineer license and membership in the Trade Alliance Engineers Guild, which means if the bastards on this station don't immediately release them, they're in violation of Alliance law. She pulled up the information from her research on her comm. We're here. This space is private, but is surrounded by Alliance space here and Federation, whatever that is, space there, meaning the trafficking of slaves to this station is in violation of Alliance or, I hope, Federation laws. What happens when the slave owners don't let them go? Chikurik asked. There's an alliance interdiction ship on the way here. Should be arriving very soon. Tara smirked. I can't wait to see all the assholes perp-walked off the station. Oh, 
when I was talking with the interdiction service, they said, if the owner of the station and the surrounding space is arrested for slavery and trafficking of sapients, the station would be impounded and become property of the Alliance. Chikurik paced more. This is risky. It is. Tara motioned for the pacing Alarian to sit next to her. What's the deal with the Federation anyway? I mean, their credits are accepted everywhere in Alliance space, but other than the credits and this map, I've never heard of them. Chikurik sat next to Tara, and Samson curled up on her feet to sleep. The Alliance subsumed the Federation 83 long cycles ago. There are still some areas of space that haven't been properly catalogued yet. They are indeed Alliance space, though. The old credit chits are valuable because they're backed by platinum at a price set over a hundred long cycles ago. As they sat there waiting, the shuttle bay airlock cycled, opening to reveal two Alliance shuttles disgorging nearly fifty heavily armed troops. Tara stood. That's my cue. She walked to the person in charge, and they spoke for a few minutes. Station security came tumbling into the dock, weapons ready. Behind them was an elderly girl ash that seemed to have two prosthetic legs and a ruined eye. What are you doing on my station? he asked. We heard reports there are slaves here, the Ilarian commander said. So, this is private space, and they aren't recognized as Alliance sapients, so it isn't slavery anyway. He stamped one of his false metal feet on the floor. In fact, they don't even come from planets anywhere near Alliance space. The commander squared all four shoulders. Did you transport them or cause them to be transported here? I did, so what? I stayed out of Alliance space so you can all show yourselves the outside of the airlock. The seventeen maintenance slaves filed off the full pouch. What about them? Tara asked. What the void are you pieces of trash doing? Get back to work before I put you in the box. Three of the Alliance troops walked over to the line of creatures and began scanning them while the commander continued the conversation with the station owner. Who are they, and what is the box? They are my property, and the box is where they go to get their attitude adjusted. One of the three scanning them looked back at the commander and nodded. The commander raised one of his large hands, and all the troops raised their weapons and pointed them at the station security. You're under arrest for the crimes of slavery, of transporting recognized sapients against their will, kidnapping, and I'm sure we'll find plenty more as we go. This station is now under impound by the Alliance. I've never entered Alliance space in my whole life. You've got no right to arrest me here in my own privately owned space. That's where you're wrong. Just because the strip of Federation space hasn't been updated in the maps doesn't make it any less Alliance space, and you claim ownership of these. He pointed at the mechanics, 17 Alliance citizens, and members of the Trader Alliance Engineering Guild. Tara walked toward the station security surrounding the old girl Ash. Hey, I think you should probably put down your weapons and let the authorities take old peg legs here away. It would be safer for you. One of the station security pointed a weapon at her until another said, That's that heavy welder, the new pit champion. They say our weapons can't even hurt her. The security guards seemed to think for a moment before they lowered their weapons and moved behind the old girl Ash cutting off his exit. The troops bound him and locked him in a cell on one of the shuttles before they began to move through the station to catalogue everything. Tara called the commander over. Listen, there are other slaves here as well, including ones that maybe can't get a professional license. Labourers, cleaners, pleasure slaves, she said with a shudder. Is there something you could do? The commander studied her for a moment. Honourable Grinty of Erlish was right about you, Prime Cudgel Missions, Tara. You do care about others in a way that few can. Maybe if they were hired by an alliance company? Excellent idea. The commander keyed his comm. All interdiction troops on station. Any enslaved sapient you find on the station is hereby hired immediately by the Alliance Interdiction Corps with immediate citizen rights. The station will need them to stay operational, at least until we can get them home and bring in replacements. Tears pooled in Tara's eyes. Thanks. If you don't broadcast the station's takedown, you might be able to catch some of the slavers in the surrounding space. They seem to think anything labelled Federation space is safe. It will be a good hunt, Tara chuckled. By the way, you said you talked to Gree. How is she? She's healing fine. Her ship will be backing us up in a half rotation. They'll probably get first run at hunting the slavers. She'll be pleased to know you did this. Chikurik stood, waking Samson, and put a large arm around Tara's shoulders. 
I'm pleased she did this. I didn't think it was possible. Tara leaned against Chikurik as Samson whined for attention. She rubbed the Samdrik between the ears and said, I didn't think so either, but I would have hated myself for not trying.